since we have now performed the first calculation, the internal forces, deformations, and support forces are displayed in tables and graphically on the model. Let's start with the graphical results display. The results are displayed in color on the model, making it easy to see, for example, the deformation of the members and the support forces. On the left in the navigator, we can select the analysis type from the list and the available results are listed in the tree structure. Here we can click the desired result to view it in the work window. In addition to deformations, we have access to internal forces, stresses, strains, and support reactions. In the lower part of the navigator, we can customize the display type. For example, we can also display units. In addition to the graphical output, result tables are available. We can simply select them using the list, as shown here. The first result table provides a summarized overview that balances the equilibrium of forces on the system and the maximum deformations. Information about the calculation process is included as well. You can filter the result tables by specific criteria, such as extreme values or design locations. The Overview Table Result category provides a summary of the calculation. In the table title bar, we can switch between the results of the load cases and the combinations. You can find more result categories by expanding the list or using the arrows. The numerical nodal results can be found in the results by node table category. If nodal supports are available, they can also be found here in the respective tab. The results by member table category provides an overview of the numerical member results. You can browse the result types at any time using the tabs in the lower part of the tables. The result tables show in color whether the internal forces are positive or negative, as well as showing the relation to the extreme values. The graphic also shows the positive or negative internal forces in different colors. These colors can be changed, if necessary. One useful tool here is the real-time interaction between the tables and the work window. As soon as you click an element in the graphic, the table jumps to the results of this element and vice versa. An arrow indicates location X on the element. This ensures an efficient way of working. If necessary, this tool can be deactivated using the buttons. In addition to the tables and the navigator, RFEM provides the option to view the result diagrams of selected members. To activate this function, we select the desired members and click the Result Diagrams for Selected Members button. You can see immediately that the structure of the new dialog box is based on the RFEM user interface. At the top is the menu bar. Immediately below the toolbar, the navigator is on the left and the graphic is in the middle. Using the lists above, you can select the analysis type, result category, and load combination, as usual. We select the desired results in the navigator on the left to display them in the graphic. The result diagrams of the selected members are now displayed graphically in the middle and in the tables on the right. You can also use the mouse or the text box at the top right to analyze a specific location. Now you have an overview of the RFEM results. In the next video, we will learn how to export them and include them in the printout report. Before that, however, we will familiarize ourselves with the design. Till next time.